All right, guys, try to bear with me here. This is my uh, first how-to video. See a lot of videos out there and a lot of talk on forums about guys who have trouble soldering and whatnot. So here's my take on it. First of all, take a look at the tip here. Pretty dirty. And what you want is a clean tip. Number one, most important thing is a clean tip, a nice hot iron. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my sponge right here. Just gonna wipe it off, clean it off. See how she's nice and clean, but give it a chance. Watch it change color. It's already getting dark. There you go, dirty already. So wipe her off, get her nice and clean, and get your soldering iron on your wire. Here I'm gonna tin this wire here. So you see, I'm heating the wire up. And trying to apply my solder here where it's nice and hot eventually the solder will spread and you get a nice even coat on the whole thing there there we go I don't know if you can see that there nice even coat bottoms nice and coated nice and tinned ready to go now here I'm using a Dean's because most of what I see here is guys who oh Dean's are hard to solder Dean's are hard to solder so I go with Traxxas well, I say go with the Deans. So here, what I'm going to do here, I need to also tin the tip of this Deans. Now my t iron is getting dirty again. Got a little solder on there. I like to knock off that loose solder, wipe it off again on my sponge, wet sponge. Nice clean tip again. So I'm going to put my clean tip onto the Deans. You want to put your heat on there. You want to try to heat up the surface you're soldering to. So now that this is heated up a bit, I'm going to apply solder between it and the tip. There we go, a little bit on there. Nice and clean. Looks like you can see it in the video. Now I've got this nice jig here. Now here's tip number two. The second tip to good soldering is do not let it move once you solder it. This jig I'm using here, I don't know if you can see it there. There you go. The jig's up. Nice kit. Got it on eBay. About 30 bucks. If you plan on doing a lot of soldering, I really recommend it. This is my second time using it tonight in total, and I already like it. So I'm going to try to get this a little closer. All right, now what I'm going to do, I've got both my areas tinned. There's my tip again, dirty. Quick wipe on the sponge. She's clean again. Keep her clean. Now I'm going to put change the angle here so I can get at it for you guys now I'm gonna put the two together how I want them you see I got there's my Deans I set the wire right on top of it now no more solder necessary I got plenty on the wire I've got plenty on the Deans so clean my tip one more time sorry and just heat up the wire I like add a little bit of solder oh no there she goes sometimes adding a little bit of solder will help the heat faster but there she goes and it all flows together nice now don't let it move like I was talking about tip number two once it all flows together evenly don't move it leave it for at least 10 seconds and there you have it nice clean good contact all flown together Hopefully this helps some of you guys. If not, let me know. I'll try to get some better videos. Uh, some of you may have noticed that I don't use flux when I solder. I've been soldering for quite a while. I've never used flux. I don't believe in it. Flux to me is for sweating pipes together, for plumbing, for copper piping, not for electronics. So there you go. Thanks.